<laughs> so a couple of videos ago, I made an update video, kind of just talking about why I was gone for a while, what's happening, trying to come back, um, not really knowing where my life was going. And I wasn't really expecting to make another update video so quickly, but a lot has happened since that video. It's been a crazy couple of weeks for me and yeah, <laughs> uh, so I guess this video is going to be telling you what's kind of happened over the last couple of weeks and my plan for the rest of the year, potentially. The way this year is going, we don't know if my plan for the rest of the year will stay, but at least my plan for right now, where things are, um, yeah, so welcome to another update i guess in my last update video i was kind of talking about how i wanted to get another job because teaching english online isn't super reliable and i also didn't want to stay living with my mother um for potentially the next year until i might be able to go back to school who knows what's happening with that but basically i think like that day or maybe the day after i filmed it um i applied for a job and I got that job <laughs> and I am now in Alberta. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm from the Toronto area. That's where I call home, Toronto is my home. And I was living in a small town just south of that uh, with my mom since coming back from Japan. And now I am on the other side of the country, which I'm really excited about because I've never been to Alberta. If you watched my scratch map video, uh, you'll know that I've only been to Ontario and Quebec within Canada. So I get to scratch out another province. That should be fun. <laughs> and yeah, I am not only in Alberta, I am in Lake Louise, Banff National Park, way out in the wilderness. Great! I'm so happy. Um, basically, I just applied for a housekeeping job out here, so it's not like I'm doing anything special or fancy. I'm just cleaning rooms. <laughs> but, you know, I figured I can clean rooms. I've done it before. When I lived in New Zealand, I cleaned a hostel there. It's not that difficult. And living in the middle of a national park, would allow me to, you know, practice my video, wildlife photography, that kind of stuff, which is, I don't think I mentioned it in the last video, but like that was the program I was supposed to go into. I want to get into media production surrounding the environment and wildlife. So I figured if I can't study at school, I can practice and have fun with it out here while who knows what's happening with, with going back to school, but <laughs> I figured, you know, great place to be, why not? And I'm here. The cool thing is like a combination, like I'm currently in my little room. It's all kind of like included, so I didn't need to worry about like setting anything up or finding an apartment, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I got out of my mom's house, which I wanted. I got a stable job that I wanted and I am in one of the most beautiful places in Canada, which I wanted. <laughs> so yeah, despite this not being really like my plan or something I was like searching for, I'm very happy to be where I am right now. And yeah. So to get this job, I applied online. Like I said, when I was kind of like filming that last update video, and then like within three, three or four days, I had an interview and was offered the job. And then it was a crazy kind of like week, week and a half, trying to organize everything to move halfway across the country to Alberta. And yeah, I guess it was July 19th. I was on a plane to Alberta. I've been out here for a couple of weeks getting used to 
the job. I'm still also teaching English online, so I'm trying to like balance and figure out a nice little schedule right now still. So yeah, that kind of leads me into like what kind of videos I might be making. I actually have an idea now. Wow, I'm doing stuff with my life. Um, I obviously will make videos about Canadian West Coast, the Rocky Mountains, and you know, the stuff I get up to out here. I'm not really sure what kind of videos I can make yet because the tricky thing is without a car, it is kind of hard to get to places because the national park typically, supposedly, has shuttles that would get you to different areas um, and like different kinds of hiking trails and whatnot. But because of COVID, the shuttle buses aren't running. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a car. It's a little hard to get around without a car now. Um, so I'm hoping, I don't know, some of the people I work with, they have cars and will not get super annoyed <laughs> with me trying to vlog little heights or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still kind of trying to figure things out, out here, what I'm gonna be doing, but I am very optimistic on like my last update video where I was like, I don't know anything. My life's a complete disaster. Um, I am optimistic right now and I am feeling positive right now. I think I'm going to make a video about flying out here, flying during a pandemic because I did fly from Toronto to Calgary. So it wasn't like international. It wasn't anything crazy, but there were like mild changes. Things were a little bit different than how they would usually be. So I'll give you like my experience on that and whatever else I get up to out here in the Canadian Rockies. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Anyways, that's it. I wanted to make this just real quick, real short. I don't want to stretch this out any longer than it needs to be because I have fun things to do now. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for this video. Make sure you're subscribed because, like I said, fun things are happening again. It's going to be a good time, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.